Details on a decades-old mystery out of Switzerland. The bodies of a couple missing have officially been identified. What anthropologists found were remarkably preserved corpses, albeit incredibly disturbing ones. This 40,000-year-old wolf's head was found completely preserved by permafrost in eastern Siberia. Beautifully preserved. Even the little bump, bump to its lip was just there. Into a little kid a little bit ago, and and he found out that it wasn't an actual real caveman, and you could, you, I mean, he was like, wait, what? Ice, being nature's reservoir of history, has become archaeologists' favorite spot to explore recently. Things turn only when, during their expeditions, they stumble upon modern-day creatures. From startling preservation of woolly mammoths to the moose accidentally frozen in ice, hold on to witness the unbelievable mixture of prehistory and modern age, all frozen in ice. It is a rare, rare creature. Frozen bear. Not the archaeologist nor the scientist, but this time, a group of reindeer stumbled upon a carcass, a carcass of a 3,500-year-old cub. The group was near the Siberian permafrost when they spotted the peaking animal and informed the archaeologists. They excavated the animal remains, and the three things which made the discovery one of a kind was these three things. It was the first time the scientists came across a complete fossil of a bear, the soft tissue still present inside the body, making it easier for the experts to study the internal organs. This was also the first attempt of the experts on studying the brain of a prehistoric animal. Ice Age Puppies This once-in-a-lifetime discovery was made by a group of miners in the year 2016. While working inside Canadian mines, they stumbled upon an extraordinary find a perfectly preserved remains of a wolf pup from the Ice Age. Estimated to be around 57,000 years old, this remarkable discovery provided scientists with a rare opportunity to study an ancient specimen in incredible detail. The pup's fur, skin, and even muscle tissue were remarkably intact, which paved more ways to get the insights of its appearance, diet, and possibly even its cause of death. This find has greatly contributed to our understanding of prehistoric wolves and the environment they inhabited during the last ice age. Preserved Woolly Rhino A frozen carcass of an extinct woolly rhino unearthed in Siberia. This remarkable find occurred in 2020 when scientists exploring the permafrost in the Eucasia regions of Siberia came across the incredibly well-preserved remains of a woolly rhinoceros. The carcass, estimated to be around 20,000 years old, included intact fur, hooves, and internal organs. This discovery is significant because it offers scientists a rare opportunity to study the anatomy, behavior, and ecology of this extinct species in unprecedented detail. By analyzing the remains, researchers hope to gain valuable insights into the woolly rhino's adaptation to the Ice Age environment and the factors that contributed to its eventual extinction. Brain of a Mammoth in a remarkable discovery, scientists unearthed yucca, a mammoth preserved in Siberian permafrost for 28,000 years. What mysteries did her exceptionally well-preserved brain, bearing striking similarities to modern elephants, hold? Meanwhile, researchers embarked on a groundbreaking endeavor to revive mammoth cells, sparking curiosity about the potential resurrection of these ancient creatures. Among their findings, several mouse egg cells exhibited intriguing reactions indicative of cellular division initiation. Could this breakthrough pave the way for the rebirth of mammoths, offering insights into long extinct species genetics and biology? Ki Miyamoto, part of the research team from Kindy University, underscored the significance of exploring cellular functionality, highlighting a new frontier in paleogenetic research. As scientists delve deeper into the realms of ancient DNA and cellular activity, what further revelations might emerge, reshaping our understanding of prehistoric life and the possibilities for genetic manipulation? 40,000-year-old wolf's head In 2018, a team of local mammoth tusk hunters 
stumbled upon the remarkably well-preserved head of a prehistoric wolf in the permafrost of the Eucasia region. This ancient specimen, estimated to be from the Pleistocene era, stunned researchers with its intact fur, teeth, and even soft tissue. Soft tissues actually help scientists study the internal organs of the animal. Moreover, the exceptional preservation of the wolf head provided scientists with a rare opportunity to study the morphology and genetics of an ancient wolf species. This discovery offers valuable insights into the biodiversity and ecological dynamics of the region during the Ice Age, contributing to our understanding of prehistoric carnivores and their role in ancient ecosystems. Ice Lion the local mammoth tusk hunter couldn't believe his eyes when he found a perfectly preserved baby Eurasian cave lion in the Siberian Arctic's frozen tunnel. Sparta, the 28,000-year-old lion cub, impressed scientists as it was found with intact teeth, skin, claws, and even whiskers, impressing scientists with its preservation. It was discovered just 15 meters away from another cave lion cub named Boris, which locals had found the year before. Initially thought to be siblings, further analysis revealed that Sparta and Boris lived over 15,000 years apart, with Sparta being identified as female through CT scans and genetic tests. The finding offered valuable insights into how the Eurasian cave lion evolved, showing how it adapted to survive harsh winters and how its cubs grew faster compared to today's lions. Freezing Mystery as the man set out to clear the ice blocking his path, his shovel struck something unexpected. Think? Oh my gosh. Beneath the frozen surface lay a peculiar sight, a tangle of reddish limbs ensnared in the icy grip. Initially mistaking it for a mysterious human hand, his curiosity drove him to unearth the enigma. With a tug, he pulled out the frozen creature, only to discover it wasn't a hand at all, but an octopus. Look at that. It's so big. It's not a human arm. How had it come to be frozen here, far from the sea's embrace? The man pondered the strange encounter, a testament to nature's mysteries lurking just beneath the surface. What is that thing and what is that creature? Deformed Ape this world is a strange place, and it becomes even more strange when we come across such discoveries. Bigfoot, or Sasquatch, was just some mythical creature, until a group of explorers found this, a 2.3 meter long Sasquatch frozen in lake. Now, the footage of a walking Sasquatch could be a fake, but how can you fake a carcass? Well, that's the case, you cannot! And this is what makes the discovery more intriguing. The current progress about the carcass is yet to be revealed, but I'm sure it will change the conventional perspective about Bigfoot's stranded moose. This poor moose was wandering on a frozen lake when it mistakenly stepped on a thin ice layer and fell down into the freezing water. There was no way out, so it got stranded and had to remain there for hours until this kind man happened to pass through. Helping a wild moose wasn't a piece of cake, as you can't simply grab its paw to get it out. But thankfully, he was wise enough to grab his axe and break the ice to make a way from there. To the bank of the lake through which moose can swim out. Well, it took some time, but turned out to be a successful plan. And there we go! The moose finally made it. Frozen Fish While going through an icy river, this explorer found some fishes stranded on the shallow water. Been there for a long time, the trapped fish were not even able to move. Prompting a need for immediate help there. Fortunately, in his rucksack, he had his claw hammer, which finally came into use that day. Although a risky task as the hammer could have touched the fish, the man performed the rescue flawlessly. It took him a few stamps until he managed to break them free from their prison. The fishes didn't even spend a single second out and went back into the lake right after getting free. Freezing Goat These two deer hunters stumbled upon a goat that had fallen into freezing water. 
With no time to waste, they quickly hopped into the boat and crossed half a mile of icy terrain to reach the stranded animal. Once they reached the spot, the next task was to let it out of the water. The deer hunter then scooped up the goat, securing it by the horns, and ferried it to safety. Got to it. Dan was running the boat. Clay pulled it into the Once at the boot camp, they made sure the shivering goat got the warmth it needed. As soon as it regained strength, that animal dashed back towards the mountains, probably grateful for its unexpected saviors. Stuck dog. This road worker came across a chilling ordeal when he discovered a dog frozen by the roadside during icy conditions. He was probably crossing the icy road when got caught by nature's brutality. However, it didn't last for so long as the man spotted him and decided to take the dog home. To make sure the dog was alive, he gave the doggo the warmth it needed once they reached. And guess what? The dog came back and now it's living in his house as a pet. Yeah, a happy ending to a tragic story. Warrior Fish While ice fishing at Wawasee Lake, Indiana, two brothers stumbled upon a captivating scene. A pike caught mid-feast on a bass, both frozen solid in the ice. Their viral discovery led to a video documenting the extraction process using chainsaws, captivating online audiences. The prevailing theory suggests that the pike choked on the bass, leading to both fish becoming trapped in the ice. This unusual spectacle adds to a series of remarkable winter phenomena, including frozen foxes, battling moose, and even a frozen wall of water adorned with fish. Each discovery serves as a testament to the unpredictable wonders hidden beneath winter's icy grip. Dinosaur Bones In the Antarctic mountains, paleontologists discovered a new dinosaur species dating back 200 million years, offering insights into the region's prehistoric era when it was a temperate forest. William Hammer from Augustana College unearthed a four to five foot ornithischian a precursor to large dinosaurs like Stegosaurus. These fossils were found on Mount Kirkpatrick, where the first Antarctic dinosaur, Chirolophorius, was discovered in 1990. Fossil hunting in Antarctica is challenging due to harsh conditions, with only a three-month window each year. Despite these obstacles, each discovery provides valuable information about dinosaur evolution and the ancient Antarctic environment, enhancing our understanding of Earth's history. Time-worn bacteria. The coronavirus broke a pandemic all across the globe, but what if I reveal this to you that a much more detrimental virus has been located? Zombie viruses that were inactive for a long time have reappeared from frozen ground in Siberia. The oldest zombie virus, Pandovirus Yodoma, dates back 48,500 years. Alongside it, scientists discovered 13 other types of zombie viruses that remain infectious even after being frozen for thousands of years. The faster melting of ice bodies due to global warming is raising utmost concerns about the release of ancient viruses. This could potentially outbreak epidemics as these viruses interact with the environment. Veiled Cave There's an entirely unknown world hidden underneath Antarctica's ice. And this cave is only a fraction of it. In 2021, a bunch of brave scientists discovered this horrid cave that seemed to be going on forever. They began drilling through the layers of ice to unveil what's inside these caves. And there it was. DNA present there suggesting the existence of new plants and animals inside. They found tiny shrimp-like animals called amphipods thriving in total darkness, far from sunlight. Even though drilling inside the deep caves is a bit risky, scientists claim these findings are worth the hustle. They show how life can survive even in the toughest places. Old Artifacts 
The speedy melting of glaciers is unveiling hidden treasures from our past. Within the frozen landscape of Norway's mountains, ancient Viking artifacts have been discovered. Among these finds are a simple wooden box containing beeswax candles that date between 1475 and 1635. Moreover, old shoes, mittens, arrowheads, horseshoes, sleds, and even Viking horse droppings have been found. This discovery provides insights into historic farming practices in Norway. But what other treasures lie beneath the ice? And how did these objects end up lost and forgotten for so long? It's a revelation waiting to be uncovered. Alligator Survival One of the perks of being a cold-blooded animal is this. Yes, you can even stay alive in the chilling waters of Florida. While some of you may know, this recent discovery has left many wondering about the science behind this. So let me tell you, it's actually quite a practice among alligators. During colder months, when temperatures drop, alligators seek out warmer environments to maintain their body temperature. They may retreat to deep water, where temperatures remain relatively stable, or burrow into mud banks. In these sheltered spots, they enter a state of decreased activity, conserving energy until temperatures rise again. This behavior helps alligators survive during colder periods when their metabolism slows down, allowing them to endure harsh conditions until warmer weather returns, and they become more active once again. Frozen Squirrel a man decided to take a quick stroll on his patio when he spotted an animal peeking out from the snow. Immediately knowing that the squirrel was in dire need for help, the man rushed to it. Well, thankfully he was on time. Otherwise, well, you already know what would have happened otherwise. He quickly removed the ice, not to mention the way he used it, but I believe the squirrel was ready to go in a couple of minutes. Wake up. Wake up, squirrel. In a live frog. After alligators, I present you frogs with a similar but unique strategy to survive the extreme weathers. During winter, frogs enter hibernation, a vital survival tactic involving metabolic slowdown and seeking shelter in burrows or mud. Their respiration and circulation decrease, with some species producing antifreeze proteins to prevent cellular problems. Periodic awakenings allow adjustments while conserving energy. As spring approaches, frogs emerge gradually becoming more active with rising temperatures, resuming feeding and mating behaviors. This hibernation process ensures frog survival through cold months, showcasing their remarkable adaptability to changing environments. Roundworms of Siberia. Imagine watching a 46,000-year-old creature revived again. Looks like a dream, huh? But this is no longer an impossible thing. A scientist in July 2023 published a study that reported the revival of 46,000-year-old roundworms from Siberian permafrost. Buried 130 feet of a Siberian permafrost, the worms survive by entering a dormant state called cryptobiosis, in which they don't eat and lack a metabolism. And you know what? It didn't take any long experiments or processes. Scientists just simply put them in water, and kaboom! They awakened. Based on this, maybe someday we will hear the news that some genius scientist has revived a dinosaur, and now everyone is supposed to get ready for the real-life Jurassic World. Pyramid While exploring mysteries of Antarctica on Google Maps, someone discovered this ancient pyramid peeking out of the snow desert, like telling people about its existence. This pyramid suddenly got famous, with countless theorists contemplating its origin. Some were wondering whether an ancient civilization created the rocky, pyramidal structure, while others were pointing toward outer space speculating about the involvement of aliens. But Occam's razor, the idea that the simplest explanation is usually the right one, points to a far more mundane cause presented by experts. Those steep pyramid-like sides are likely the work of hundreds of millions of years of erosion. So for now, this is just a mountain that looks like a pyramid. But who knows what further studies and research will reveal in the coming years. Microscopic Organism Guess what scientists did? They thawed a living microscopic organism out of the Russian permafrost that survived for a mind-blowing 24,000 years. Yep, you heard it right. This tiny creature was frozen solid under the ice, and it might spill the beans on crinogenetically freezing human tissue one day. They call it a rotifer, a mini plankton found in water. 
Scientists dug it up using a rotation drill in the freezing Aliza River. Once defrosted, these little fellows went on a feeding frenzy, chowing down bacteria and popping out colonies of clones. It's like a microscopic version of being frozen in time. And now, let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by a subscriber. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it to us. Who knows? We might even feature it in one of our videos. Meet the weirdest man you'll ever meet. And that too with the strangest task assigned. It is to find frozen mummies from the heights of snowy mountains. It was during the usual expedition. He came across remarkably preserved Inca artifacts and more astonishingly, frozen Inca mummies. Now, you might have heard of these mummies due to the strange ways they are buried. Yes, the Incas being one of the oldest civilizations discovered had a unique way of bidding farewell to their loved ones. They would place them in a familiar fetal position and then they would wrap them in pieces of cloth. These mummies, remnants of humans, are believed to be half a millennium old and showcase nearly perfect preservation. This discovery indeed opened a new chapter of ice archaeology and gave inspiration to many to explore further.